Be different. Be selective. Be Moto Guzzi. This is my personal marketing message for the latest motorcycle to descend on the world of baggers, the 2017 Moto Guzzi MGX21 Flying Fortress. But the message didn't arrive at first glance, rather, it took a few thousand miles of touring, bar hopping, serious wet canyon action, and the occasional drag race. When Shane Pasillo, Piaggio's marketing communications manager, invited Ultimate Motorcycling to the Moto Guzzi MGX21 Flying Fortress launch at Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, two thoughts immediately percolated in my already espresso-filled mind. First, it takes some serious balls for a 95-year-old Italian company steeped in motorcycle racing history to design its first ever bagger in 2016, and launch it amid a tough crowd seriously passionate about American V-twin machinery? And, second, can I ride one back to my home in northeast Pennsylvania? A few weeks later, I flew out to Sturgis to ride the 2017 Moto Guzzi MGX21 throughout the Black Hills, and then make Moto Guzzi history by becoming the first rider to take the Flying Fortress through some eastern states en route home. Throughout it all, including a few extra miles of testing near home and on my personal mountain course, I have about 3,000 miles on the Flying Fortress, enough to get a true feel for the bike and also see what would go wrong. A bulk of those miles were at what, the MGX21 registers 116 miles per hour in 6th at best going downhill, in order to understand the performance and durability of this beauty. More testing came in the form of what this bike was built for, touring and downtown cruising. Just make sure your bladder is empty before stopping anywhere on this bike. I've ridden hundreds of motorcycles all over the world and have never received such a response as this by generates. Pull up on the Moto Guzzi MGX21, and prepare to have everyone, from the slick-backed hair NYC lawyer piloting a Yamaha FZ09, to the modern Harley-Davidson rider rumbling on his Kvo Street Glide through HD's part of the country near Wisconsin, stop and ask you question after question. Can I pee first, guys? Galuzzi design, what's not to love? My 19-month-old son Enzo has a picture collection of Miguel Galuzzi designed motorcycles in his room. I figure if the brain needs true stimulation, what's better than some Galuzzi designed motorcycles, including the Ducati Monster, Aprilia Dorso Giro, Moto Guzzi V7 Racer, and the Moto Guzzi California 1400? Galuzzi, just like Ducati 916 designer Massimo Tamberini, is a hero in my world. When I heard he was behind the new MGX21 Flying Fortress, I knew I'd like it, but this wasn't so true during my initial view on the computer screen. In person at Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, though, the MGX21 spoke like no others. Its lines achieve an authority of simplicity, and yet they are futuristic. The red valve covers of the 90-degree Traverse V-Twin and Brembo brakes immediately add Moto Guzzi's rich racing heritage cues to the bike. That history includes 28 major titles from 1924 to 1957, 8 European Championships, 250cc, 500cc, Sida cars, 8 GP titles, 350cc, 250cc, and 12 Isle of Man TT wins, 350cc, 250cc. Galuzzi, head of PAD, Piaggio Advanced Design Center in Pasadena, California, says that taking on a bagger to rival the likes of Harley-Davidson and Indian was a huge challenge, and from the first few days of the bikes unveiling at Main and Fourth Streets in downtown Sturgis, there was a definite sense of relaxation. Nearly all the commentary was positive. This reputation traveled with me as I rode through South Dakota, Wyoming, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. Except for South Dakota and Wyoming, I was a pioneer on the Moto Guzzi MGX21 Flying Fortress, becoming the first to pilot the bike in unfamiliar territory. The MGX-21 had celebrity status worthy of the paparazzi, causing a raucous reception everywhere I stopped, 
from gas stations to stores to bars to hotels. And the questions were so endless, I had the basic data memorized within three stops. First reaction? It was amazing how many people have never heard of the Moto Guzzi name. So, the first question was usually about the brand, even after a few asked if it was a Harley. The second question was always what did the model name mean? Milligrams is obviously for Moto Guzzi, the X, because Galuzzi says the bike was against the standards of typical baggers, and 21, is the size of that beautiful front rim with a carbon fiber center cover. Oh, and Flying Fortress, this refers to the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. The B-17 long-range bomber dropped more bombs during World War II than any other U.S. fighter plane, including bombing runs on Italy. And, yes, there's also the obvious hammerhead shark look, this was noted as a design intent.